Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to take a look at what I purchased in the Lovely Things box. Wait! Stop! What's the matter, Camel? You went shopping without me? Yes, I went shopping without you. Close your mouth, you'll be catching flies. In today's video, we are going to take a look at what I got in the February issue of the Lovely Things box. So if you're interested in seeing what was in the box and our thoughts and opinions, then stay tuned. Hello and thank you for joining us. If you're new, my name is Anne. And I am Princess Fatima of the Sandy Dunes. And today, as I said before, we are looking at my purchase from the Lovely Things box. This is a box that is available every other month. It is not a subscription. You just purchase it when it becomes available. And I admit this one, I think I had a little bit of FOMO. And I may have purchased it a little sooner than I should have, or maybe I got candle and wax melts mixed up. Are you getting confused in your old age? Yes, Camel, sometimes I get confused in my old age. Anyway, overall, I thought it was a pretty good box, so let's get into some of the details, and then we can take a look at the box items. As I said, it comes from lovelythingsbox.com. It's every other month. This is the February Valentine box, and you can follow them on Instagram to get some of the spoilers. The box comes with a card, which I am always appreciative when a card is included. The box was $22 plus $7 for shipping and tax was a dollar and 71 cents. So that gave me an overall total of $30 and 70 cents for the items in this box. The total value for this box, including a little extra surprise that they threw in, was $61 and 99 cents. First up is a candle, which is valued at $16 and I'm really not a big candle person, so this is probably not going to get used. I will probably put it in my donation and giveaway box. Hey, speaking of giveaways, are you still gonna do a giveaway? Yes, I think I am. My plan is to do a giveaway when I get to 100 subscribers. So please subscribe to my channel and leave your comment below so we can make that goal. Now, back to the Lovely Things box. Next up, we have heart-shaped champagne toast wax melts. These have a very nice scent that I can smell through the package. And prior to now, I really haven't been big on wax melts, but this package and the package of wax melts that I have from my purchase in December, I am getting tempted to go out and get one of those little things that melts the wax and give this a try. Both of the items, the wax melts and the candle are from the company Luna Light Candle Company. And next up from Bella Bear, we have the Goddess Sugar Scrub. And it has a safety seal, but I readily admit I pulled it back to take a little sniff and it smells heavenly. It smells like a soft sugar champagne scent that will definitely get some use. I'm very glad to get this. This was one of the items that caught my attention in the purchase of this box, and it has a retail value of... They had two little items, 
in a nice silk pouch. And a silk pouch can always come in handy for holding jewelry and other little things. And I'm digging to get them out of the pouch. Thank you, Camel. You're welcome. We have a pink shower steamer from the brand Oily Blends. It has a retail of $5.50, and I'm excited to get to give this a try. We have a satin eye mask from the brand Kitsch Beauty. I hope I didn't say that too poorly. It has a retail of $16.00. This type of a product is something that I know I won't use, so it will go in my giveaway donation box. From Artesian Bath Co., we have a lip scrub in Strawberries and Cream. I'm in love with this. This was another thing that caught my attention for the purchase of this box. It has a retail of $7.99. And Camel, yes, I let you try some of this, remember? I try, oh yes, you're right. I do remember trying this. And what did you think? Oh, I thought, oh. I just used a lip scrub, and now I have soft, kissable lips. Happy now? I'm aesthetic! Camel, Camel, wake up. Wake up, Camel. I was remembering when I tried the lip scrub. It was wonderful. I'm glad you got that product. I want to use more of it. And so do I. This will definitely get well used. And as I said earlier, the folks over at Lovely Things Box were kind enough to throw in an extra product from Pure Aura. It is a facial mask and it has a retail of $6. It says it is the Rose Gold Foil Mask. And from what I understand from looking at the back of the package, it comes in two segments, one for the upper part of your face and one for the lower part. And I've not tried a mask like that before, so I'm excited to give this concept a try. So you paid $30 and change, and you got a value of 61, almost $62. Yes, and all things considered, I'm pleased with the box. True, I won't use a couple of the bigger ticket items, and part of that is the way it goes when you buy a mystery box, and also part of that is me having a little bit of FOMO because I was so pleased with the items that I purchased back in December and I'd heard that this box sells out quickly. So maybe I pounced a little faster than what I should have. Either way, I think there are definitely products in here that I can use. I did a total with the products that I know I will use, and basically that's $30. So if nothing else, I got my money back for what I paid for, including the box, the shipping, and the tax. So all things considered, a good purchase, and I look forward to seeing what they have in their next box. This comes every other month, so they'll probably start doing some spoilers, i guessing, in late March with purchasing for an April box. Thank you for joining us today. There should be some other videos popping up on the screen right about now. 
And if you haven't checked out one of those videos, please do because I'm trying to build up my channel and we appreciate your viewing. Thank you for watching. And we hope to see you again in another video. Bye bye.